everyone. Today I'm here to talk about books that I would love to reread. I know a lot of us have books that we finish and we are fallen and we fall in love with them and our immediate plan is to reread them at some point but I know I myself am very very bad at rereading like I am the worst like I think a lot of times desire to read a new book will outweigh my desire to reread a book which is not amazing I admit that. This video is to help me to remind myself that I need to reread all of these series and to just talk about which ones that I want to reread in particular. So yeah, if you have a list of books that you want to reread, please share it down below. I would love to know what books that you want to reread. Um, the ones I will not be mentioning in this is Harry Potter. I'm actually decent with that. I actually listened to them last year, so it was the first time I ever listened to them. So um, I'm not going to count that on here because I already reread them last year and I plan to reread Harry Potter like every two to three years because it's Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, on to the books that I want to reread. There is quite a few of them, I will say. The first series I would love to reread is The Raven Cycle by Maggie Stiefvater. This has four books in it. It has four books in it. We have The Raven Boys, we have The Dream Thieves, Blue Lily Lily Blue, and The Raven King. These are still out of order, forgive me. This was the last book, The Raven King, last year, but it's still been such a long time since I've read the first three that I really want to reread them because this is one of my favorite series of all time. It is so unique. That is the one word that comes to mind often when I think of this series. It's just so unique and the writing is so beautiful. I love Max G. Waters writing. Like I just can immerse myself in it. So I really would love to reread them. I'm actually thinking I'm going to listen to them because I've heard amazing things about the audiobooks. A lot of people love them. So I definitely plan to do that. I think I will do that. Like I think I'm going to start the first one around um, August and then um, listen to them continually as it gets on to Halloween because it's the perfect time to listen to the series. If you don't know what the series is about, it's like magical realism, paranormal if you will almost. It's about a fallen king, it's about ley lines, it's just very interesting. Like I have reviews on every single one of these books so definitely check them out. I just would love to reread this series. The next book I would love to reread is Fangirl by Rainbow Roll. This is one of my favorite contemporaries of all time. A lot of people love this book with great reason. It's such a cute contemporary book. I would love to reread this one. I need to reread a Rainbow Roll book. I haven't yet reread one at all so I need to remedy that and I think Fangirl is the perfect one because it is my favorite Rainbow Roll book as of with a lot of people. I need to reread this one to get immersed back into Kath and Levi like oh so cute. The next book I want to reread is Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. I read this like four or five years ago. It was very early on in my channel that I read this and I love this book. It's still one of my favorite books of all time. It's this epic like sci-fi fantasy gaming book. It's just so amazing. Again, I might try the audiobook. I've heard good things about the audiobook. It is just such a fun ride when I think of Ready Player One and I would love to get immersed back into that awesome 80s gaming world. Like, yes. The next series I want to reread, and this is going to be kind of controversial because I have been known. I am known for not liking this series. I am known. But I still want to maybe read it again to see if I really honestly don't like it. And that is the Selection Trilogy by Kiara Cass. I have said time and time again I am not a huge fan of this trilogy. I do like the first book, The Selection, but as far as the last two go, I'm not a fan of. So the only reason I want to reread these is to see if I still feel the same way. I could reread these now and have completely different feelings. That happens sometimes with rereads. Sometimes the feeling are the same only just immersed. Sometimes you reread books and you realize that maybe you like this book but you thought you hated it or maybe you like this book but now you hate it. You know sometimes rereads are good for pointing out that so I would love to reread these. They're not like high up on my list because again I don't love this series. Maybe I do. I don't know but I want to reread them again to make sure my feelings are like absolute. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Speaking of books that I think that my feelings might change on is the Shiver Trilogy by Maggie Stiefvater. This was, I read this a long time ago, like before I even was on booktube I found the Shiver Trilogy and I loved it and it does not get a lot of good feedback honestly. Like Maggie Stiefvater is known for her Raven Cycle obviously and for her other books but not a lot of people like the Shiver Trilogy. I loved it so I would love to reread it to still, to, fe to see if I still feel the same way. Maybe I'll feel differently and I won't love it as much much as I did. Maybe I'll notice some of the things that other people pointed out. Sometimes rereads can do that to you, like I said. So I would love to reread them to see like where I stand on that. Like do I feel like I still love them or do I feel like I don't love them? Like I, I want to still love them because I really enjoy that series but 
Who knows? That's why I need to reread them. The next series I want to reread is kind of a, it would be a recent reread, but I'm just so obsessed with this series, and that is the Court of Thorns and Roses series. I literally just finished reading the last book a couple weeks ago, but I already want to reread it, so why not? So yeah, I need to reread all three of these books. I did kind of do a skim rereading on this book last month in preparation for the last book, but I have yet to reread Court of Thorns and Roses. I read this a couple years ago. I would love to reread this one to see if I notice anything. If you know anything about this series, the ship changed a lot and you realize things that you never realized while reading the first book. And I would love to reread it to see if I noticed things that I didn't notice the first time around. So yeah, I need to reread them because number one, of noticing things. Number two, because I'm just obsessed with this series. <laughs> I'm so obsessed. And that is it. That are, That is all the books that I really want to reread. Like I'm sure there's a lot of books on my shelf I would love to reread, but those are the first ones that when I think of rereading come to mind. So I'm hoping that I actually reread all of these. Hold me accountable, people. Like seriously, hold me accountable. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, if you have any books that you want to reread that you just haven't had the time to or just haven't made the time to reread like myself, please let me know down in the comments because maybe we can keep each other accountable, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that's always a very good thing. So yeah, if you enjoyed this, you know, talking about rereading, please give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe to see three bookish videos from me every single week. I will see you in my next video. Bye. I'll always love you and make you